Hey folks, Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at Bright Path, and welcome to episode 181 of the Managing Uncertainty podcast. This is going to be another short episode. Uh, I'm not sure how the beginning of 2023 has been for you and your program and your team at your place of business, but the first two weeks of 23 have been absolutely nuts over here. But I did want to make sure I took time to lay out one thing that was on my mind as I thought about you know, episode planning for the next couple of weeks. And that's a conversation that I was in earlier today where someone asked me, Brian, do you think of business continuity as a component of crisis management or do you think of crisis management as a component of business continuity or is it something else? And I said, funny you ask, I try not to get caught up in this philosophical argument that I think is just unpredicted. I, or I think is just uh, unproductive rather. Um, if you re- if you sit and read the industry standards, um, if you look at the ISO 22301 standard, it's gonna, which is an organizational resilience standard, but we think of it as a continuity standard. It's really focused on organizational resilience, and it talks about the business continuity management system. And a component of that system is the ability to manage an incident or manage a crisis. So we think of that as crisis management. So if you're reading that standard, then crisis management is a component of business continuity. And so we should call it the business continuity program. Um, if you read another standard, if NFPA 1600, for example, uh, I think that standard has more of an emergency management or crisis management bent to it. But it talks about continuity of operations. And so does that mean that business continuity is a component of crisis management or emergency management? The, the real answer is it doesn't matter and we shouldn't care. If I'm coming into an organization um, as, a, as a client of Bright Path, and there's no program in place, we're greenfielding a program, then I'm probably going to refer to it as the business continuity and crisis management program. I'm going to build those components that are interlocked. They both need each other. But I'm going to talk about business continuity uh, is about building the capability for critical processes to continue to function in the face of disruption. I'm going to talk about crisis management as the way the organization manages any type of disruption that has a broad enterprise impact. And then if appropriate, I'll talk about the meaning of of disaster recovery, uh, and I'll talk about the need for a unified crisis process and all the places that that takes me. We are really stuck in this idea of what's business continuity and what's crisis management and what's disaster recovery. And I, I try not to get too caught up in those philosophical arguments. And you should not get too caught up in these arguments and in this discussion about semantics because it's not productive. What we need to think about is what's going to resonate inside of your organization. And to me, that is taking us in the direction of resilience that we think about a program that is centered on resilience, or if you want to say continuity and resilience, or continuity crisis and resilience. But the end goal, as we lay out in you know what I think is one of our better articles explaining our thought process on our website, what is resilience? Resilience is the goal. Resilience is the ability of the organization to withstand uncertainty and disruption. It's the ability of the organization to be resilient, to be able to bend under the pressure but not break, to be able to respond quickly to protect your team, your assets, your customers, your clients, your business operations. And when disrupted, that you're able to quickly recover and get back to work, get your organization back to work with your reputation wholly intact. That's resilience. So these semantic arguments about what's business continuity and what's crisis management, they don't matter. Don't get caught up in that. The mission is how do you improve the resilience of your organization? And that, my friends, should be your focus. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty podcast. We'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well.